a good morning just waking up here in Kenmar and getting ready to go and face the day and go down and see Lynn and Ian um, wonderful spending time with them last night the Chinese was absolutely fabulous and as was the company um, it's gonna be just myself and Lynn riding today riding the ring of Kerry gonna miss Michaela it was great riding with you but I'm sure we'll have fun just the two of us and I want to say a massive thank you to Michaela also for not only putting me up but making me laugh having fun and also donating to my charity so thank you so so much and also I've woken up this morning to £2,000 got over £2,000 which is amazing so thank you also to Julia and Rita and Lorraine and Cindy and somebody who's anonymously donated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying the YouTube videos. I'm glad you're having some fun. I'm glad you're laughing with me, at me. And um, also, sorry, I'm going to make you cry. But it is what it is. It's a journey. It's raw. It's unfiltered. It's life. So hopefully today's day is going to be a good one. I'm waking up positive with a smile. Had a good sleep. So that's a good start. More later. And I used to think it was sweet having rabbits in my garden. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> oh, how amazing. Well, that's something you don't expect to see when you stop for fuel. <laughs> So that little video of that waterfall, which I really, really liked, was in Sneem. It was great because you could, there was a grid over the top of the, the pavement and you could look through. It was just quite liked it. It was cool. So we stopped there for a cup of coffee and then we got back from our coffee, got back to our bikes. There was a little gift shop in front of us and I'd seen a lovely little puppy here that was for Arthur, for my grandson. So cute. I loved it. That was all. Um, but I, what I really needed was some gloves because my hands were really, really cold. So I wanted to go in there for some gloves. But of course I got distracted. So I bought this and I bought some little Arthur socks. And I bought some lovely palm-free hand soap. Smells really nice of lavender. What else did I buy? Oh, Christmas tree bauble. Because whenever we go anywhere, we always buy Christmas tree baubles so that when we dress the tree the following year, then it reminds us of where we've been. So I got that. And I got some Irish socks. Odd pair. But that's the fashion nowadays anyway, isn't it? So got back out, got into the bike, and I went, oh, I forgot my gloves. Forgot my knitted gloves to put underneath my gloves to keep my hands warm. And I thought about going back in there, but do you know what? The lady was so miserable and verging on rude that I just didn't want to go back. I mean, she'd even actually been complaining about the amount of customers that come in from the coaches. And I'm like, right, well, obviously I didn't want to give her any more grief or waste any more of her time. I didn't really want to give her my money. And I just didn't really want to see her miserable face. It's so unusual, I think, because everyone is so, so lovely in Ireland. Like, really, really lovely. Really friendly, really chatty, really kind, really helpful. I mean, that's the Irish people for you, you know. So you really, really notice it even more when they're not. So anyway, I didn't go in, so. But there you go. But I'm not going to name and shame, but I am going to put this lot back in my bag. So I don't lose them all, because you know what I'm like. keep that safe so then Lynn and I carried on on our way um riding the ring of Kerry and off we toddled but do you know what she lent me her seal her seal skins her gloves to keep my hands warm which were lovely but a little while along I suddenly got a bit panicky thinking oh, are these really made of seal skin 
and then I had to remind myself that no, we don't club seals in the UK and they really weren't. But we'll have to Google to see what they are made of. This morning Ian realised that I'd lost a strap for my air hook again. And this one was really loose, so we've tightened it up and put another one on. And it's amazing how much better things work when they're complete. I'm not slipping and sliding all over the place in my waterproofs now, so thank you, Ian. Yeah, the sun is coming out. It's breaking through. <laughs> it's great when you think it's this close to the road. I'm going to, warning, warning, I'm going to spin around on you. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> I'm just going to video so you can hear how silent it is here. I can hear Lynn creeping around behind me to say <laughs> I think cows are very beautiful when they're that side of the wall. <laughs> Nearly as beautiful as the view. I've succumbed. I was going to try not to, but they are vegan. All their bar bars here are gluten-free, all of them. They don't do any sugar-free bars at all. Um, but they haven't got loads of sugar in these. It is 60% dark that I've gone for. So vegan, gluten-free. I did ask for a vegan, gluten-free, sugar-free, alcohol-free bar. Unsurprisingly, they didn't have such a thing, but I've had these, but I will try and eat them. Little by little, and not all in one go. So I was just waiting for Lynn to undo her side thing to get my helmet out and realise I've left it in the chocolate shop. Hopefully it's still there. Probably just see over there, that's an island called the Skellig, which has got a monastery on top with over 600 steps to get to. I think you might be able to visit, but I'll give it a swerve. Okay, so my trusted tour guide Lynn says this is Port McGee and you can go out to Skellig Island. Um, I'm just going to show you these lovely coloured houses, look, they're great. But these are the boats that take you out. So you can go out there and get off and climb up the 600 odd steps if you feel so inclined. I'd love to go, but perhaps I just need a helicopter to, to drop me off there.
so it really was a good day a really really good day finished off nicely by going out for dinner with lynn and ian who bought it for me as well so thank you so much not only have they put me up ridden out with me been my tour guide mended my seat um they've got me dinner too so thank you thank you thank you very very much appreciated it's been so wonderful to meet you and spending time getting to know you it really has as for the rest of the day, um, well, the Charlie Chaplin picture, so that was taken in Waterville, so years ago, Charlie Chaplin, apparently, who was a keen fisherman, turned up at that hotel, which was the grey building after the Charlie Chaplin photo, and asked for a room for the night, but was told by the woman at the front of the house that there were no rooms, there was no space. So he got in his car, and I presume his car, and standed, started heading off for Kemmer. And when the manager found out what had happened, he was like, do you not realise who that was? That was a famous Hollywood star. So got in his automobile and chased after old Charlie and said, come back, we can make some space for you. And of course they did. And he apparently returned many, many years, um, year after year, to go fishing there and spend time in that hotel. So that was a good save by the manager of that hotel because that's given Waterville some fame for many years on as well and um, the picture of me with Chewbacca is because Skelly Island was used in one of the films of Star Wars they did some filming there which was kind of cool because earlier on in my videos I was saying how um they were people wondering what this crazy lady was doing riding around Ireland on something out of Star Wars and I didn't realize there was quite a lot of Star Wars connection with Ireland at that time but there there is so there you go the weather sport play a little bit this afternoon um and it got quite cold and quite raining when we came out of the skellig visitor experience um and so we just headed back home to lynn's um by the way that we'd actually gone but it was quite interesting to see the scenery from a different direction so we'd headed north before and then this time we headed back sort of or on the north route and then we kept headed back on the south route for the wild atlantic way um and to see it with sun and with cloud and with rain so it was quite a good experience to see all the the differences and the change in the scenery with those conditions and just from the angle that we were looking at it so that was good it was cold by the time we got back but i did have lynn sealskin's gloves on um which are made of merino wool and leather so no seals no seals have been injured in the making of these gloves um, but still not probably great for the vegetarians and vegans among you but I will tomorrow hopefully remember my bright orange builder's gloves that I forgot today but it might be raining quite heavily tomorrow so we'll see we'll see what the state of play is the scenery um, one that I liked when I said you might not have been able to hear it that well because it was really quite windy but I was saying it's like my favourite scene so far and you might be thinking, oh, what why is that? But actually, when you zoom in, the photo next to it, you actually see, we well, can probably just make out our little boats in a harbour. So when you look at that, you realise the whole scale of the scene. So I will, after this, um, put those up again just for you to have a look at and you can perhaps go, wow. Um, sorry about the wind and the, the bad sort of audio on that, but it just gives you a bit of an idea of the scenery. So anyway, I'm going to go to bed now, um, have a good night's sleep hopefully, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye for now.